Hello, I'm just like a smidge early. Hello, Sue T. I'm not gonna. I'm not even gonna try it, Sue. I'm not gonna try it today. Hi, Gail. Hi, Corey. Hi, guys. Hi, L. Okay, it is Wednesday. I woke up with a pretty bad headache today, so I, I think it's probably the weather. Hi, Laura. Emma's still trying to find us. What are you looking for, Emma? Your video. What are you looking for? We're going to have to refresh. So, hello. It. Emma's having some difficulties. We're going to let her um, figure that out. Hope that you guys are all doing good. Hi, Alex. Hi, Mama J. Hi, Kim. So, I have said a couple times that I'm not going to show as much, but I did pull 60 things. So, there's 60 things today. Hi, Barb. <coughs> 60 things. That's not really going to be that fun to ship, but oh well, right? Um, and I also, um, Emma has made uh, scrunchies, and she is starting a new business where she is making some needlepoint things. Hi, Fatbird Finds. Hi, Michelle. Um, so I wanted to go ahead and show you one of those um, that she's going to be selling too. So just so you can know, you know, she's going to launch a website, but I will be pulling things here that she's going to be selling too. Did you find it? Okay. Because, you know, she's, she, I want to say she's a poor college student. She is working um, for the oh, Alumni Association, doing some graphic designs and stuff like that and PR marketing, but that's kind of slowed down a little bit in the summer. Um, not a pink drink. It is, they were out of strawberry stuff again. So, if it, but there's strawberries in it, so I'm kind of confused. But what is it, Emma? It's a... It's the uh, mango dragon fruit. Mango dragon fruit. With lemonade. With lemonade. But it has strawberries in it. It's still not the same. So, but it's got caffeine. So, that's the most important part. Okay. Hi, trusty Huckster. Uh, it is much better than last week's drink. Last week's drinks was tasted like lotion. And nobody wants to drink that. I warned you about that, though. Yeah, and she got me the big one last week. She should have got me the big one this week instead of the little one, but that's okay. I appreciate it anyway. Okay. Okay, so let's go ahead and get somewhat started. Welcome to my live Wednesday vintage sale. I have 60 items here. Actually, 60, a little over 60 because I have some endless things here um, that I'm going to be showing you. That's all available for sale. Everything has a number attached to it. So I will hold up the item. It has a number. I'll explain the item, show you what it is, and then I will give the number last. Um, everyone, oh, shipping does not, shipping isn't included, so shipping will be an additional fee. Um, everyone has different internet speeds. It's frustrating, you know, it is for all of us when we're trying to buy things in these sales, but that's just the way that it is, and there's nothing that we can do about it. Oh, yeah, and I'm in Indiana, so I'm kind of like in the middle, which isn't too bad, but still going to the West Coast tends to be a little bit more expensive. So I don't, I don't have a lot of heavy things. If something is a little bit heavier, I will remind you that it's heavier. Um, Sandra, how do you refresh? There should be like a little icon somewhere up at the top of your computer screen um, that kind of looks like it's going around in a circle. It's an arrow. That's like yeah, it's an arrow, like a constant arrow. So you can um, hit that to refresh or you can actually just close it out and then come back in. Sometimes that helps too. Make sure that you are in live chat and not in top chat. <gasps> Hi, Michael. Shh. Michael's sneaking in. Hi, Michael. He's at work, but we won't tell anybody. Um, uh, also, what else am I forgetting, Emma? Um, yeah, first to comment, the number wins. Don't argue. Oh, yeah, there's no arguing. Emma is here. And you know Emma, she don't play. She don't mess around. Um, Emma does go back. If she has, if there's any question, Emma always goes back and double checks before she tells me the answer, who has won. So if you see your name show up first, you will probably are always going to do that. For some reason, your name will always show up first on your end. But when you go back and refresh, when you go, if you go back and watch it later, you'll see that who, whose name was actually first. 
My email address is thrifterjunkervintagehunter at gmail.com. Um, it is in the description below, so you won't need to write this down or anything. Uh, I will need this information after the sale is over. I will need your your YouTube name, your actual name, that's important, your, your actual name, your shipping address, and, and your PayPal email. Um, I typically will not, re oh, I usually do not respond until tomorrow morning when I start shipping things. So you send me that information tonight, I come in here in the morning and I will get it all, and I everything should be shipped by Saturday. So I, 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 I get my shipping done fast. So, uh, but I need your information in order for me to do that. So make sure that you send me the information. Okay, did I, did I say everything? I hope so. Let's go ahead, because we got a lot of stuff. I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and show one of the things that Emma, well, I'll show you one of the things that Emma has, is showing. And it is, she started making these needlepoint. This is all hand stitched needlepoint. Um, and this took her about six hours to make. So, the, and then the the um, rainbow has these little tassels that hang from it. So she has hand stitched this. Um, she will have different designs, but this is just the one that she had brought today. Isn't it pretty? Look really cute, hung, you know, for spring or just 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 hung anywhere at any time. Um, but this is eighteen dollars, and it is number sixty one. So Emma's embroidered rainbow is eighteen dollars, and it's number sixty-one. And it even it even looks good from the back side. When I do needlepoint, it does not look good from either either side. I have L. L. Brinkley. Yay! Thank you. Emma says thank you. She does have some saucy saying ones that I might bring, or you know, she's got some that say they look all pretty, but they might have like a. A saucy saying on them so this will be coming to you l all right okay let's go ahead and i'm going to start with some paper dolls i have three look at me i have three 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 sets of paper dolls now these are different from the ones that i had shown in my video yesterday these are different uh i didn't realize that i had so many paper dolls but i do uh these are Okay, let me let me pull out the people. These are Blondie and Dagwood. So here are the people. Dagwood kind of looks like Curious George in an odd way. <laughs> but here's Blondie and Dagwood. Boop, 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 boop. Look at Blondie. Boy, he he really got lucky. Dag, wait, that is are you Dagwood? You're not even Dagwood. Cause like, boy, Blondie, you're an awful lot taller than your husband. That's the sun. That's the sun. Where are you at, Dagwood? <laughs> I was gonna say, oh, there you are. That's more like it. I was gonna say, boy, you're an awful lot taller than your husband. There's Dagwood. Why does he have a floral boxer shorts? I don't know, but it kind of looks like a skirt. Dagwood? You're wearing a skirt. Oh, well, no judgment here. So Blondie in Dagwood and then their son. And then also in here is the dog and the little girl. Where are you at, little girl? She's little. Oh, there she is. Oh, she's so cute. There's the little girl. She looks a lot like her mother. So here is the nice family of four and the dog. They're kind of a cardboard. And then this whole sack of their clothing and accessories. The whole sack. So the whole bag is $10 and it's number 35. Daisy is the dog. Yeah, because I did see that on one of the like little clothing pieces. But all the little clothing for the children and for Blondie and Dagwood are in there. So it's $10 for number 35. It isn't crackle. It is not crackle. Oh, it says I'm live. Did I, did I buffer? Am I okay? Am I okay? I don't know. I might just go on my end. Let
I'm a little, I was a little nervous because it's going to storm here today. And, you know, with this metal roof, it doesn't always make my reception very good. Okay, it's clear. Now. Clear now, clear now, clear now. Yeah, it feels better now. Okay. All good. Am I good? Yes. Better, 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 better. Okay. All right. So, this is not crackle glass. It kind of looks like it is, but it's not. It's not crackly. And it's even kind of showing up on camera that's crackly. It's not. It's just a really small little pitcher. It's orange. It has the applied handle. It is hand blown. It's got the Pontel mark there on the bottom. Just a really pretty small little pitcher. No chips or cracks on it. It is $6 and it's number 23 for the little orange art glass hand-blown pitcher, $6 for number 23. Shirley Pearl. Shirley Pearl. Shirley Pearl's my girl. Thank you, Shirley. Yeah, it's a cute little, just a cute little baby of a, of a thing. All right. Um, I have a couple books. I didn't pull very many books this time. I think I only have two. No, I do. I have more than two. I just, just a, a couple books. Um, Laura, you're having all kinds of problems with YouTube. I tell you what, I don't know if you all do this, but I have subscribed to YouTube premium. And let me just say, it's the best $11, I think, that I ever have spent. Now, you have to do it like I have it on my account. If Emma wanted to, she, on her, if she signs in underneath her, she doesn't get it. So it's however many accounts you have, like it isn't blanket for one account, but there are no, you don't have to watch any commercials, none. And it's the best. So I like it. And, and I know that you were like, well, if I don't watch commercials, then, then you're not getting paid. No, we, you still do, but you have no commercials. So I don't know. To me, it's the best amount of money because all I do is watch YouTube. So I like it. Anyway, here we have the Cactus Cavalier. Now, this is more of a, it's not really saucy. It's more of an adventure. It's six-gun justice on the cattle trails. Doesn't that sound exciting? And they are just having a tossle, these two guys. It's a hell-roaring marshal tames, no, a hell-roaring marshal tames the wild town of Swayback, Montana. So it has this little map on the back. Yes, on YouTube Premium, the content creators still do get paid. Uh, it's It just goes into a different, like, category. But I, I myself love it. But anyway, this is in really good condition. Uh, it's just a, from the 50s. It's just a Western. You know, that was just a Western kind of thing. It's number 38, and it's $4 for the Cactus Cavalier. It's made by Dell. It's number 406. Oh, thank you, Alex. I just kind of threw it up. I didn't, I came to the shop with it wet and just kind of threw it up. All right, so $4 for number 38, the Western Cactus Cavalier book. Okay, next we have a lovely little floral plate. It is, I've shown this in a haul before, a long time ago, but it has this really pretty transfer flower on it it's a souvenir of wilmar minnesota and it's the minnesota is abbreviated with four letters instead of the modern mn i think that's minnesota but um it's very very pretty with those they kind of look like to me they kind of look like peonies but they're probably not not sure what they are but it's very very pretty and this it's a souvenir souvenir of wilmar minnesota there is the back. There's no, no chips on it anywhere. It's just a lovely, colorful floral plate. It is $10 and it is number 19. $10 for number 19. It's pronounced Wilmer. Wilmar. Wilmer. It looks like Wilmar, but apparently it's pronounced Wilmer. Mer. Anyway, it's a very pretty plate. Ten dollars, number nineteen. Okie dokie. Let's do. Hmm. Let's do a 
brooch. Shall we do a brooch? Oh, hi, Mary Beth. I have a lot of brooches, and so I've been showing a couple of them for different sales. And this one is a cameo set there. And it's got a, like a brown, brown jewel rhinestones. This is a costume piece. It isn't sterling. It's not any precious metal or jewels, but really pretty cameo pin set. It is $8 and it's number 59. $8 for number 59. Sort of like a mom and her two daughters, maybe? I don't know. I thought it was pretty. $8 for number 59. Guess who it is? Shirley Pearl! Yay! Thank you, Shirley. Yeah, it is a triple. Yeah, I thought it was interesting. I thought it was interesting. Okay, now, here we've got a little pig. I tried to do some research on this. My dad swears that this is from Caesar's Palace. It's very reminiscent of Caesar from Caesar's Palace. I don't think that it is. To me, it looks like Ransburg. Looks like a piece of Ransburg to me. You know, that's just like a classic Ransburg piece with like a salt and pepper shaker. This is a bank. It is a Caesar's the Pig bank. It's just kind of a fun mid-century piece. I couldn't really find any information on it at all. Um, so I don't quite know. It doesn't have any flaws on it anywhere. There's the back. And it's a smasher. So in order to get your money out, you either have to smash it or you can spend all day and, you know, shake the money out. Which I probably would do because I wouldn't want to smash it, smash him. But he's a cute little pig. This little eyelashes. He is $10 and he's number 53. Yeah, he is. He's just round and cute and he's got a little tail. I just think that it's it's just fun. And I like the way that it feels. I don't know. I, I'm a very much a sensory type of person and it just feels good. He's I glass. Stacy Brinkley. Stacy Brinkley. Yeah, I thought he was fun. Couldn't find him, but he to me he he very much resembled a piece of Ransburg pottery. All right. Let's do, how about let's do another thing of, of, um, Pasta Girl Scout cookies. No, let's do another thing of paper dolls. This one I did beforehand pull out the girls. There's three dolls in here and I love their hairstyles, but they don't have names on the bottoms though, because sometimes they'd have the names. Oh, someone wrote. Okay. Well, here's her. Look at her really pretty hairstyle. And someone wrote. Miss America. So here is Miss America. I still have the fairy lamp. Yes, I do. There will be fairy lamps in every video for the next several weeks. And then this one is, um, oh, it's Betty the model. I like that someone wrote Betty the model. So here is Betty the model, Miss America, Betty the model. And then we have this girl. Now she's got a little bit of a, smudging on her face and oh so here is she and she is rose the model so miss america betty the model and rose the model so these are the three girls and then you have and i didn't do this right let me try to i'll, I'll cover up the the number an entire bag filled with paper doll clothes uh, there are some really fun pieces in here. Like she can be a majorette. She could be. So well, that's what they have a year on them. No, there's no year on them because these did not have a box. These did not have a box. And look, there is Miss America right there with all of her roses and stuff. And then there was another. They're very, I would say that these are from the 1950s. Just by the clothing style, she can be a candy striper, I think. So there's some really neat um, pieces in here. There was one that I think would look just... I think these would be fun to... Yeah, I think this one's it. To set up with a your displays. Like you could do... You could set one up with your... Whoops! With your 4th of July display. So like here's a shirt. So wouldn't those be fun to set them up? with your displays. I just think that they're fun. 
So this entire bag uh, filled with the clothes and the three dolls is $10. Get in there, girl. And it's number 34. Number 34, the doll, paper dolls and clothes, $10 for number 34. Lorianne Adeline. Hi, Lorianne. Lorianne painted me that gorgeous picture of our little broody. It's hanging up in my hallway. So I loved it so much. We get to go and meet. I haven't said this to anybody yet, but we get to go meet our new baby on Friday. We're going to meet her for the first time. So we don't get to take her home. We just get to meet her and see if she's what we want. And she is another Jack Russell because, well... We're crazy. No, they're, I love the breeds. So, yes, I know a new puppy. I'm excited. We get to meet her on Friday. Okay, let's, let's try this. Now, I haven't, like, been finding these a lot lately, and I had never really seen them much before, but Jeffrey has a collection of these, and I bought him a, one, and now he has a set of three. And I bought this other one and he said he doesn't need any more. So I'm going to sell this one. And it's a craft teddy bear jar. I've been seeing these all over the place. I don't know. Hi, Thrift You. Hey guys, Thrift You is having a sale tonight at nine Eastern on their channel. So make sure that you check them out. They're a little nervous because it's their first time, but they, they're in good company. We'll all, you know, we'll all give them some support. Um, oh, and my mom is here. Hello, mother. So Thrift Jews having a sale, their first sale tonight at 9 p.m. Eastern. Okay, so little bear, kind of looks like a big gummy bear. Actually, it would be neat to keep gummy bears in here, I think. But it is Craft USA on the bottom. And he has his lid, and it is $8, and it's number two. $8 for the Craft Teddy bear, and it's number two. I think that he's adorable. L. Brinkley. L. Brinkley gets the bear. Okay, I found this the other day, and I, I this just it just spoke to me. I don't know why. It's it's odd. I like I like things that had a past, and now they can be kind of repurposed or someone has added something to them to make them make it to be repurposed. And I just, I really like this. I don't know, but it is a shoe mold. Now it's just a wooden shoe mold. And I love that it has the numbers here because you know, this was made to, you know, to mold shoes. And on the side here, it says it's December, 1957. Oh, hi, Hillary, I'm thinking of the name Winnie for the new baby. Nobody likes that name but me, but I think it's great. So we'll just kind of see if it fits. So this is a wooden shoe mold. Very cool. Now, the thing that's neat about this is someone has painted, has hand painted, and it says a place for everything and everything in its place. And I like that it, they painted the flowers on it. And they even put a hanging thing on it, a hanging thing, a hanging hook. So you can hang it on your wall and you can put your keys on it or your dog leash or, you know, something right by your door. So I thought that was kind of clever that they took this, that something that, I mean, people do use these in decor, but I just thought it was kind of neat. I don't know. I liked it. And it's $10. And it's number 15. <laughs> number 15 is $10. I think it's really neat. Alex said I sh we should name the puppy Saucy. I like I like human names for dogs for some reason. I don't know. Lizzo. Yeah, we we thought about Lizzo because everybody loves Lizzo, right? But I don't know if I like that. All right, so the shoe form is fit, number fifteen, ten dollars. Amy Crawford. Amy Crawford. Yeah, it's very cute. I like it. All right, next. We have some shakers. Another one like shakers. Oh, and um, my shakers that I, the video from last Friday, all of those shakers are on auction. The auction will be up on this Friday. 
and a new video will be coming out on Friday with a new set of shakers. So just so you know, I'll, I'll remind you. But here's some, another set of Bosco dogs. I'm Pep and I'm Salt. They're in really good condition. They're made in Japan. I know, I like Winifred. That's what I said. And call her Winnie for short. We'll see. We'll see. We just have to meet her and see what, what we think will fit. But Bosco, they've got the gold um, trim. But they're so cute, aren't they? And they're in really good condition. They kind of look like French Bulldogs is what they, what I think that they are. They are $8 and they're number three. $8 for number three, the little Bosco, I think French Bulldog salt and pepper shakers. Oh, Andrea Joseph. Andrea Joseph. Hi, leave, Evan. They should leave girl dog names in the comments of the video. Yeah, well, I'll probably do a video where where maybe when we're there on Friday, I'll I'll video it and I will kind of add that to a video and you guys can help it maybe help us name. Give us some ideas. All right, so I do have some other things that Emma made. Emma has made scrunchies. These are hair scrunchies. They come, I have two packs, three packs of three, but there is this fabric with the yellow and gray flowers and then this one has um, like a, it's like a navy blue with dark navy blue stars and then a black one with yellow and orange flowers. So you, these are $12 for the three of them. So you get all three of them for $12 and they're letter A. Letter A, Emma's Scrunchies, starting somewhere store is her store. You get three of them for $12. Letter A. I have Newton's cupboard. Michelle, Newton's cupboard. Okay, write Newton's cupboard or write A on there. Okay. okay, I'll go ahead and do another set. I have another set that's just like that one, only the middle one here is more of a dark, kind of a twall, a dark blue with a black. So these are also $12 and they are letter B. I love this one, the yellow and gray and white. Letter B for Emma's scrunchies. I have Michelle's getting those too? Well, Emma's gonna leave here a richer woman. I have a couple more and I'll, it, I'll, I'll save them for a little bit because I know everybody's not here to see scrunchies. I like the name Jackie, someone commented that. Jackie. Like Jack Russell. Ooh, I like that too. I like Jackie too. Hmm. Hmm. Maybe. Okay. How about some chalkware? Y'all like chalkware? Michelle, Michelle, are you watching? I gotta make this tour. You can't see the tag. So we have an apple. And we've got cherries. Are you watching, Michelle? Cherries. These are chalkware. They're actually in really good condition. They do have the hanger on the back. This one has the hangers kind of. I mean, it can still hang, but it's, you don't have to be careful with it. This one, the cherries, the hanger is still intact, but they're in really good condition for chalkware. Um, you know, you never know with chalkware. Let me just look. Looks like this one might've had a repair right there, but you really can't tell. Anyway, you get the set of them for $15 and they're number 51. So you get the set, woo, the set for $15, number 51. I have C.A. Susie. C.A. Susie. Michelle, you were just about there. Michelle's probably screaming right now. Can't you hear her? Can you hear her screaming? Okay, I have a beautiful piece. I think this is Bavaria. Yeah, a beautiful Bavarian pitcher with this really pretty luster uh, orange at the top. Transfer flower kind of looks like the same flowers that were on this plate. Kind of. They look like peonies to me. But it's really, really pretty. There, there aren't any cracks, damage, flaws to it anywhere. You can see here it is made. Bavaria. Very pretty. This is number 12. And it is eight. No, no. What do I have this? Oh, it's $12. 
and it's number 18. $12, and it's number 18. Uh, Shirley Pearl. Shirley Pearl. It's kind of pearly, too, Shirley, like you. You're Shirley Pearl. Like Shirley Pearl. Huh? We should name our dog, we should name our dog Shirley Pearl. <laughs> In honor of our girl. All right. Um, I have... Let's just do this. She was in my, this, these babies were in my video. The 666 twins. The, yeah. What? So, yes, Emma, Emma, didn't you watch my video, Emma? She doesn't ever watch my videos. So, okay, I didn't realize that these were the 666 twins when I bought them. I just saw this, I love fans and I love advertisement pieces. And so, I had to have it. And when I got home, I thought, oh, what do they have in their hand? They have 666 liquid in their hands. Now, and this one's holding up. The, the, I mean, he's just like, drink 666. The fan itself has some issues. Um, it has like a little spot up there. It looks like maybe someone had tried to hang it. It does have a spot right there in the middle where it's been. And it does have some creases and stuff like that. The graphics themselves are very, very neat. The color contrast is very neat with them. And down here it says they're the 666 twins. So apparently this stuff just treated all kinds of stuff. Malaria, chest colds, headaches, a laxative. Y'all know how I like those. Um, it's the 666 Remedies for internal use only. Anyway, so it has a bamboo handle. So this was interesting. It is $8 and it's number 25. I like weird things. I mean, people aren't going to necessarily come into your house and say, oh, you got 666 because it does kind of blend in a little bit. But I just think that it's just interesting to me. I don't know. There's all kinds of different ointments with it. I have thrift you. Thrift you? Thrift you? Ooh, you're going to, I want to, I'll have to see this on a video. No, Emma says it's you. Did you, is it thrift you? Is that who you got? That's who I have. Okay, Emma says thrift you got it. She went back and checked. Checked. Okay, girls, you're going to go home to your new mama here soon. All right, how about some boudoir? Boudoir prints. These are really pretty. They are a set, I believe maybe are dogwood flowers. See the, um, and they are, it's, you can be your very own interior decorator. Better Living with Better Pictures by Reliance Industries. So these are in really, really good condition. Really good condition. Um, they both have the hangers on them and they really look like they're just, they're in fabulous condition, honestly. Uh, so these are really pretty, like a little mid-century boudoir photo prints. I don't know. I just thought they were pretty. They are $15 for the set and they are number 12. $15 for the set. And they're number 12. This is a five by six. Oh, yeah, five by six. There's the back. I have Shirley Pearl. Shirley Pearl. I think that they're so pretty. You know, these will look really cool in a vintage camper. Yeah. You know what else would be cool in a vintage camper? These mugs. Ooh, I gotta hide the tag. These mugs would be great in a vintage camper. Ooh, drop it. Aren't these fun? Look at these. Okay. Carrie, you have a vintage camper. These are perfect. These are just a plastic insulated mug. They're made by Cornish Thermo Coffee. Well, Thermo Coffee Cup. But I just think that they're just so fun. You could even, like, in your vintage camper, you know, if you have, like, a thing where you can hang mugs, you know, they're not going to, they're not going to break when they clink, clink together. They make great milk mugs for kids. So, you've got this pink and teal, and then you have an orange, and 
a kind of a brownish tan, which it should have been yellow, something more fun than brown, but I didn't make these. These are $8 for all four of them. You get all four, $8 and they're number 10. Number 10 for all four of the mugs, $8 for the set of 10. Jared Elkins. Jared Elkins. Jared, do you have a vintage camper? I mean, they would be good mugs for kids, you know, to have too. Okay, I have some linens. Let's show the linens. Now, I have a two of these, and I was going to do them separately, but I kind of thought that they needed to stay together because I think that they've been together this whole time. They're very, very vintage. Probably 1950s, 1960s. Here is one. It's a set of throw pillow pillowcases. Now, it's not picking up on camera, but this is pink and black. It's not black and white. It's kind of picking up there. So it's just straight pink on one side and pink and black. Now, and this, the fabric on the, on the front is like a silky fabric. So... Just solid cotton pink on the back and pink and white, or pink and pink and black. And then this one is also a pillowcase. It's pink and white, but it's silky and it's on both sides. Pink and white on both sides. They both have the insert that snaps so you can put your pillow in it, which is, makes it nice because you can just take these off and wash them. There aren't any stains or holes in them anywhere. So you will get both pillowcases. Again, in a vintage camper, these would be great. You get both of them for $15 and they're number 58. Hi, little vintage me. No, you. I still got lots of stuff. You haven't missed hardly anything. So you get both vintage pillowcases and see this one has snaps too. Yeah, I think that these are so neat. Shirley Pearl. Shirley Pearl. Shirley Pearl, they're going to come and get you one day. But I won't let them. I won't let them, Shirley. All right. Shirley's got good taste. That's what it, Shirley's got good taste. Okay. This is a cute little thing. I just like little, little miniature things. And... This is just like a short little squatty pitcher, and that's why I liked it. If it was a normal size, I probably would think twice about it. I just like just the small little squatty things. I don't know, but it's got oranges on it. This does not have the cups that go with it, so it's just the pitcher itself. But I think that it would be just really cute. And it is $8, and it's number 14. $8. There's no chips on it anywhere. It has the kind of the folded, fluted spout. $8, number 14. And the oranges are in pretty good condition on it too. Andrea Joseph. Andrea Joseph. Evan, you're going to be able to drink some orange juice out of a vintage pitcher. Okay, so this next thing. I love, I've actually sold one of these before and I was so shocked when I found another one because I didn't think I'd, have, I'd find another one for quite a while, but it's this dog and the cool thing about the dog, let me take my glasses off. I know I look so much different without my glasses on, is that this dog, I don't know if it's going to work, yeah, is a glasses holder. So it holds your glasses for you. Isn't that fun? And then it looks like a smart dog. Let me put my glasses back on so I can see. So... This fun little dog, he's so cute. He, now he does have a little, some little chipping right there. It's not major, but it is there. And a little piece of the paint is chipped there. Um, he does have his original, what is it? Uh, Victor yeah, Victoria Ceramics. Oops, made in Japan. He's so stinking cute. He is ten dollars and he is number 27. ten dollars number 27 for the little puppy dog eyeglass stand holder Lori and adeline no oh, he's so cute yeah this 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 is the this is the kind of stuff that i would could fill my house with i love the kitschy stuff like that 
And I'm wondering if they make like, maybe they make a cat one too. I don't know. I'll have to, I'll have to research that a little bit. All right, I have another doll here. This is made by NASCO, N-A-N-A-C-S-O. But it is this dog planter. He kind of resembles the little eyeglasses dog holder. Isn't he cute? Ooh, Barb said that she might have. So Friday night at Jeffrey's sale, if you missed out on this, Barb's going to have another one. She said she might. She might. But isn't this cute? This little, like a spaniel dog, dog cocker spaniel, or I don't know what kind of dog he is, but he's very cute. Um, he does have one little, it's not a crack, it's just a spot, because I'm not feeling any, any, I'm not feeling a crack, but it's there. Uh, but he is super cute. I put a little plant in it, because he's a planter. He is $14, and he is number 37. $14, number 37, the cute little puppy planter. Fab Finds Fairy. Fab Finds Fairy. You get the fabulous find puppy dog. Make sure she sends an email. Yes. Make sure you all send me an email. Thrifter Junker Vintage Hunter at gmail.com. How about an apron? I only have one apron this time. So if you're really wanting an apron, now's your chance. Because I only have one I'm showing this time. It's yellow. And it's got this floral trim around the top and it's got that little kick that little the little uh slit in it with a pocket it looks dark on camera but it's, it, it's yeah bright yellow. it's bright bright yellow and i love the rickrack i like the com the contrast in colors so this apron is no no stains on it anywhere either it's in great shape um it is twelve dollars and it's number 52. $12 for number 52, the vintage yellow apron. That's a piece of fuzz. Great condition. I have Crystal Smith. Crystal Smith. Gotcha for number 52. Okay, this next thing, I actually had this at my house for a little bit. Oh, Janice, you're not missing anything. I got all kinds of stuff. Um, because I was going to do something else with it and I just never did so I'm going to sell it here it's very pretty it's this little Dimitas um cup and saucer very I love this collar that seafoam green it's got roses on it it is made in Japan make sure I'm showing it the right way it has the matching little cup with the gold trim there let me show you it. let me show you the cup without showing the tag no no chips on it it has like a little like an extra piece of glaze in there so it's not it's not a flaw it's just like an extra piece of glaze hi d so this is six dollars and it's number 18 this would be really cute with a planter in it i was actually going to put like an easter bunny and stuff in it make like a little assemblage because I thought it was very Eastery and I just never did. So six dollars for number 18. Very pretty. Terry Ann's eclectic. eclectic this and that. So cute. All right. Let me show another uh, another linen. Can I see that? You put the wrong number on it. The linen I did? No, the I put the wrong number on it. Surprise, surprise. But you still got it, Terry Ann. It's still yours. So this is a table scarf. And it has a basket design on is that the, I'm showing you the back side. Let me show you the pretty side, shall I? There you go. So the basket design is on both ends. Very nicely done. And it does have a couple stain. Now, again, with all my linens, they've been washed but not treated. So I haven't treated any of these. But it has a couple, it looks like coffee stains on them. This is $8, and it's number 50. $8 for the table linen. 
Number 50. I have Shirley Pearl. Shirley Pearl. Here's this. There's just something like when you're carrying a cup and saucer, it just makes you feel fancy. Hearing that noise. Does it make you feel fancy, Emma? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you just feel kind of fancy. Okay. Oh, this I almost kept, but I didn't. So, it's a squirrel planter. It's a Shawnee, which I love Shawnee. I think I like Shawnee more than I like McCoy because they do a lot of figural pieces. So I really like him. He is very cute. And he doesn't have a, a not a chip, not a flaw on him anywhere. He's so cute. Let me take this tag out so I can show you the inside. But he's just a cute little planter. Uh-oh. We just lost electricity. <laughs> 